RN Ravi says framework agreement has nothing to do with the territorial integrity of Manipur. <laughs> One NSCNIM Kader killed while two others, including a woman, injured in an encounter in Kaupum Tingtak. <laughs> Railways Minister alleges that Congress, UNC and NSCNIM are behind the economy block. <laughs> Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi will campaign for the party on February 28th in Nepal. And Chief Minister Ukrami Bobi Singh accuses BJP of saying something and doing something else. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Laita Mamonika with the latest news updates. Chairman of Joint Intelligence Committee RN Ravi has categorically stated that the framework agreement is a short document which tells about the broad parameters of within which the final settlement will be worked out. Talking to ANI, Ravi said it does not mention anything about Manipur or any other states and has nothing to do with the territorial integrity of Manipur. It has nothing to do with Manipur territorial integrity, uh, there is no mention of it at all. So I, I, I like to make it very clear that framework agreement is just an agreement of broad principles. There are many stakeholders to this whole talk process. We are talking to NSCN. Now NSCN is representing the Naga side of the story. But there are others, neighbors of Nagas, they are very important. Even within Naga, society, there are others who wish to share their, their uh, apprehensions, their sort of understanding, their aspirations. So aspirations of all the stakeholders have to be taken into account and will be taken into account. And I have made it very clear that no solution will be reached at without taking into account the wishes of the people of Manipur, including people of the valley, who are very important stakeholders to the entire talk process. A suspected cadre of NSANIM was killed and two others, including a woman, were injured in an encounter between the 2x5 Gorkar Regiment and suspected cadres of NSANIM in Kopum Namkau Kul in Kopum Chingtak in Noni district early this morning. The encounter occurred when personnel of 2x5 Gorkar Regiment were conducting cordon and search operation in Kopum Chingtak. Sources said about 40 suspected cadres of NSANIM were staying in the village for the last two days. The sources also said NSANIM Carders who were escaping carrying an injured Kader were attacked by suspected ZUF Carders in Namzang Thang and the Nongba police station. The two Carders of NSANIM were injured in the attack. The injured woman is identified as Kade Zelu Rongmai, 50 years, wife of Kala Wanthoi Rongmai. She was hit by a bullet in the face. Kade Zelu Rongmai was brought to rims around 2 p.m. after the Gorkar regiment gave her first aid. The right side of her was badly damaged and doctors treating her said her condition is critical. She was later shifted to Raj Medicity. <coughs> Minister of State for Railways Rajan Gohen today alleged that the Congress government, UNC and NSENIM are behind the indefinite economic blockade. Addressing an election rally held in connection with the flag hoisting of BJP candidate in Singh Jamai, Yumnam Khemchan at Yumnam Lekai Lairimbi Lampak, the Union Minister asserted that the Congress party will gain nothing by hurling accusations at the BJP. He said the Congress is trying to gain political mileage by falsely accusing the party on the framework agreement. Rajan Gohen categorically stated that the framework agreement was under the Indian constitution and it will not affect the territorial integrity of Manipur. The union minister told the people that the railway projects in Manipur will be completed by 2019. He expressed the hope that when there is railway connectivity among the North East states, the region will be transformed into an economic hub. He said tourism sector will also develop in Manipur after railway reaches the state. Manipur का भी तेजी गति से काम चल रहा है 2019 तक हमें टारगेट दिया है मैं कोशिश करूंगा 2019 से पहले इसका काम पूरा हो जाए अभी तो कुछ हिस्सा तो काम हमारा कंप्लीट हो गया 12 मई 12 मई 6 किलोमीटर का ये भी ट्रेन चलेगा मणिपुर का हिस्सा है 
आप लोग ये बात ये तो षडयंत्र है ये षडयंत्र इन लोगों ने मिल के किया है कांग्रेस यूएनसी और एन एस मिल के किया है क्योंकि हमारा Addressing an election meeting in connection with the flag hoisting of BGP candidate in Tongju, Tongam Biswajit at his residence today, the Minister of State for Railways, Rajan Gohen, said the railway ministry is trying to complete the railway line till Manipur so that the people of the state will not have to suffer. He said as trucks coming to Nagaland face problems when something happens in that state and ultimately the people of Manipur suffer. Rajan Gohen asserted that the state needs a new government to bring change under the leadership of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. He said the railway line will be completed soon to ease the people's problem. He asked the people not to believe the rival parties which are accusing the party on the framework agreement between the centre and NSCNIM. Many national and state BJP leaders and supporters of Biswajit attended the meeting. <laughs> मणिपुर एक ऐसा इम्पोर्टेंट जगह हो जाएगा क्योंकि यहाँ से मोड़े तक मोड़े तक का भी सर्वे हम लोग का हो गया मोड़े तक रेल लाइन चलाने का सिद्धांत हो गया तो सर्वे हो गया अगले साल इसका सेंक्शन हो जाएगा और इसका काम भी शुरू हो जाएगा तो ये सारे जो परिवर्तन लाया नरेंद्र मोदी जी ने सारा देश में तो ये सब का ये देश का हर एक का व्यक्ति का Assam Chief Minister Sarbanand Sonowal left Impal after addressing political, several political rallies for BJP candidates. Campaigning for BJP candidate from Nauria Pakhanglapa as Suvachandra at uh, Malom Bazar community halls, so Sarbanand Sonowal said the Prime Minister's decision to set up a national sports university in Manipur shows how serious he is regarding the development of the state. Speaking on the present more than three and a half months old economic blockage, Sarbananda Sonowal asserted that the law and order is completely a state subject. He said the Congress government, which could not even lift economic blockage, cannot do anything for the welfare of the state. I have been informed that this particular state is suffering for the last more than three and a half months in receiving the essential goods, day to day needs, because of the economic blockage. Now, who are what was the responsibility of the state government? Because law and order is a state subject. It was the duty of the state government to handle this issue properly so that economic blockade is lifted and all the normal lives come back to the people of the state. But in this sector, this Congress government has miserably failed. Assam Chief Minister Sarbanand Sonowal also campaigned for BJP candidate Nahagbam Indrajit in Khetrigao. Sonowal accused the Congress party of not bringing any developmental changes in its 15-year rule in the seat. He also alleged that the Congress government has misappropriated funds sanctioned for the development. This Congress government has to दुपहर को कांस्टिट्यूएंसी के लोग ने बताया कि यहां पीने का भी पानी नहीं है सड़क भी ठीक नहीं है बिजली भी चले जाती है कोई यहां अच्छा शासन व्यवस्था नहीं है जिसके वजह से आज लोग काफी चिंतित है जिन्होंने आम जनता का पैसा खाया है चाहे पीडीएस सिस्टम से हो चाहे सड़क से हो चाहे बिजली का नाम से हो चाहे पानी का नाम से हो चाहे रोजगार के नाम से हो हर व्यक्ति को जेल भेजना होगा Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi will be visiting Manipur on February 28 to campaign for the party in the upcoming assembly elections. Speaking at the launch of the party's manifesto at Manipur Congress Bhavan at Beerti Kendrajit Road, MPCC President D.N. Haukip said Rahul Gandhi will address a political rally at Hapta Kangjebu. He said Congress party, unlike the BJP, does not try to deceive the people to gain their votes. D.N. Haukip said the party will work as per the wishes of the people. The manifesto launched today gave top priority to protection of integrity of Manipur, attainment of 100% literacy rates by 2022 and railway connection with other Asian countries. And requesting to our BJP friends, come on, 
reveal and publish your framework agreement. If that goes to your plus point from the next government, if you bluff the people of Manipur, then you cut sorry figure yourself. The Union Home Minister came. The territory of Manipur is not disturbed. How come? What about the framework agreement? If Rasnath is very sincere and BJP is sincere enough, they have to reveal the framework agreement. Chief Minister Ukrami will be saying today asserted that the BJP is a political party without policy program. He alleged that the BJP spreads false political propaganda with the help of audio and visual aids. Speaking at a public meeting held in connection with the flag hoisting of Congress candidate in Andro constituency T. H. Shyam Kumar at Yambem Edit High School ground, the Chief Minister says the BJP is a deceitful party which says something and does something else. He said the party speaks only monkey bars and never trans translate them into action. It will be also accused the BJP of politicizing and interfering in the sport and culture. Stating that the BJP is a communal party, the Chief Minister cautioned the people to vote for the candidate which has the support of the people to bring peace in the state. Prime Minister Lakani Hydra, Jatra Hunkani Hydra, Kanai Heli Pierpo Semo, Lambi Gose Semele, who is the Ising Manunda, like to Tada, but on the Tumil Lay, Lam Anisi, Anima Pira Beneva. Ado hujit tak mawa cak libra ngam gedor libra ngam moy dor libra mana hai bayar bagi authority libra lagi tabra asam wicik minister na Manipur da B J P na power payar budi national sports university ni kerja ni parlement da bilama putok putok tu putok piro ado ga hujit temporary campus kumal lampak tera cai tera tau piro hai bisi hujit power parlement da bil putok tiye. National Sports University linked to the parliament that has been passed on the name. Who is the power of the name? Chief Minister Ukrami Bobi Singh, meanwhile, accused the BJP of using NSCNIM, United Naga Council, UNC, as a weapon in their quest for power. Ibobi made the allegation while speaking at a flag hoisting of Congress candidate in Oinam, Dr. Iringbam Ibohalbi, today. He said the Congress government in the last 15 years had been able to take up developmental works because of the people's support and the government will always remain indebted to the people. Ibobi also said the Congress is giving priority to the development of the state and at the same time trying to resolve issues facing Manipur. He accused the BJP of laying foundation of the schemes launched by the state government. He maintained that the BJP cannot win the election with false promises to the people. He told the people that only Congress can solve the problems facing the state. นิวคาตัมนาชอบเรลคันทรีมาวัยนาลากปนีในปี1949เดอะคัพตันีอินเดียดามาร์ตัวเหว่าวัยเดอะปาดเดอะไฮดราไอ้คนในมินเนอร์
स्टेट पंजाब यूपी उत्तराखंड गोवा मणिपुर तौबेट मुस्लिम की बीजेपी की टिकेट भी विचार तौर Lok Sabha MP Chirag Baswan has claimed that the Lok Jana Sakti Party will be part of the new government and Lang Thabal MLA Karam Shyam will either be the chief minister or deputy chief minister of the new government. Chirag Baswan made the statement at a political meeting held in connection with the flag hoisting of LJP candidate Karam Shyam at Puthi Balam Park, Lilong Chajing Myrin Kong. The MP said neither the Congress nor BJP will be able to get absolute majority and LJP will play a major role in the new government and work for the development of the state he said it is unfortunate that the economy blockade has not been lifted yet and expressed his concern at the hardships faced by the people because of afswa he asserted that if lgp becomes a part of the new government steps will be taken to repeal afswa jo election ho raha hai it's not only just to elect an mla this as the chairman of the central parliamentary board lok jan shakti party i can say this with utmost authority and full confidence that you are not only just selecting an mla from this constituency you are also electing a deputy chief minister in the coming government this is for sure that no government can be formed without an alliance with lok jan shakti party and you never know you never know that you are not only electing an mla not just a deputy chief minister if we get the kind of support that i am seeing so we might as well be electing the chief minister of the state Chirag Paswan reiterated that Lok Jana Sakti Party will be part of the new government in the 11th Manipur Legislative Assembly election. Speaking at the flag hoisting of LGP candidate in Wangoi, Moirang Mayum Thoiba, he said Manipur is lagging behind compared to other states because of the Congress government. Aap log ko kehna chahta hu ki aane wale samay mein jis din results aayenge us din Lok Jana Sakti Party ke samarthan ke bina कोई सरकार मणिपुर में नहीं बनेगी या अपना विश्वास के साथ कह के जाने जो भी सरकार बनेगी उसमें लोक जनशक्ति पार्टी के हर एक एमएलए की एक बड़ी भूमिका होगी इसीलिए आज जब आप यहां से नेता का चुनाव कर रहे हैं अपने रिप्रेजेंटेटिव का चुनाव कर रहे हैं अपने एमएलए का चुनाव कर रहे हैं तो आप सिर्फ एक एमएलए को चुनाव कर यहां से नहीं भेज रहे आने वाले समय में जब सरकार बनेगी तो उस सरकार में उस एमएलए की फ्लैग होस्टिंग ऑफ लोक जनशक्ति पार्टी कैंडिडेट इन उपोक नामई रापम संतोष वॉज हेल्थ टूडे एट द रेसिडेंस एट लम्फेल सना गई थे Chairman of LJP Central Parliamentary Board Chirag Paswan President of LJP Manipur Unit RK Kaiku were among those who attended the event National People's Party candidate in Wangoi Kurajam Lokin claims that NPP will play an important role in the new government. Local today has hoisted the party flag at his residence at Yumnam Hydrom Thiam Laisangkong. National President Conrad K Sangma, several national and state leaders and his supporters attended the event. K Lokin said people of Manipur now do not want BJP and Congress. People want a change in the state. He said a new government cannot be formed without the participation of NPP. BJP is a good game. Koi na na Modi ji ki mami the khoksha bane. Se Manipur da BJP cha to ke mathi wang na lejaram bane ba ko. Adu wa isa mukhu BJP the lejaram bane. Ishor na kan bi bane. Manipur ki BJP the lejaram ba phibam zikar ma phibam the lejaram ba se prajaj jam kub na munna. Ahan bagi a koi ki ising isa upal la ka na khan handa ki bata tu mai handa kare. BJP tiye ticket phong ke bata ki a koi wangoi ki andar the lejaram ba Muslim minority sil na ising sina. Asu ki mathi ai bo harau ba thanga phibam phawi maram ni. Manipur ki prajaj khudi mana khangi bane ba. Muslim ising sil na ising wakhal on. करी वखल लाई गया जिंग से आई नाम टिकट फंगक तब दगी हे ना आई वो अचक वा सपोर्ट अम फंगी बदंग सी चाव माई पा पगी पांद म फंगे है द फ्लैग होस्टिंग ऑफ द एनआईडीपी कैंडिडेट एन के सामथोंग पोतसंबम धनकुमार वाज हेल्ड एट हिज रेसिडेंस एट हाबम मरक नांगोम लेकाई टुडे स्पीकिंग एट द इवेंट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द पार्टी इलांगबम ब्रोजेंद्रो असर्टेड दैट मणिपुर हैज नो फ्यूचर इफ ब्लैक टॉपिंग ऑफ रूट्स इज द ड्यूटी ऑफ अ लेजिस्लेचर He said the false promises by various parties prior to the election has created confusion among the people. Supporters and well-wishers including elderly men and women of the constituency attended the function.
Miang di minyak kami hanya contoh raga political minus law dan demi lambi ron kong kang dengan miang bu. Utsai aku masih ada tahu yang tahu sisi. Aku ini ada tu hari apa? Aku ini nak tanya nama siapa nama siapa yang kian tarap ini. Kisah kisah nak kian tarap, kisah kisah nak kang raba, adu gumba, tahu lagi apa culture? Yang nak jadi orang politik semua salah ini macam apa? Masih lagi aku ini lap masa tu kong matau tay kerana semua tak ada yang jaga. Masih masih di culture kita ekor sun loya raga sah kita ada boleh di matang sehi kun nama kutha yang kaya masuk adun ekor semai nasi dia ni ada. The flag hoisting of Notice India Development Party candidate Ningong Bam Nila Kumar in Langtabal was held at his residence in Singjamai Maka Kongnang Pedigbi today. Nila Kumar assured the people of developmental changes in Langtabal after the election. He said he will work as per the desires and wishes of the people. Nalang tawal kender gigi, awal bau hong bal, mai gaya mana, soi dengan cermin nak ni habis ini, thamza gigi. Amat laba kerafted, orang laba amat di. Fifteen years ki Congress ki, sahaja nama di fifteen years ki Congress ki loot, fifteen years ki Congress ki corruption, amat di account accountability leh tawa dungu sahaja nasi handuk ni, nampak itu ni ni aidi pina, mana pula anu ba political keri political culture mau hukuk lani habis ini, gigi mai kaya gigi thamza gigi. Tin biri ba praja pumna mengesu. Masih kita harus bersih ini aidi. Pita thambiri hari raga. Anu ba, awon ba, Manipur ama, semdok sena bagi tangan ba tanjat tu logs ke. Flag hoisting of Manipur National Democratic Front candidate in Kai Samtong Y Romola was held today at her residence at Kai Samtong Ilang Bamlikai. Working president of MNDF Bijoy Koizam and members of Left Democratic Front attended the event. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with more news updates. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. Tight security measures have been taken ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's visit to Manipur on the 25th of this month. The Prime Minister is scheduled to address a political rally in connection with the upcoming 11th Assembly elections at Langjing Achoba the same day. This morning, personnel of Imphal West District Police under the supervision of additional SP Ops S. Ibumcha conducted Kurdon and House to House search operation in Langjing Achoba area from 5.45 to 7.15. Sanitization of the site of the political rally and its surroundings were done using two sniffer dogs of Manipur police from 7.30 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Governor Dr. Najma Habdullah has expressed grave concern at the indefinite economic blockage imposed by the UNC from November 1 last year. In a press release, the governor said the blockade has caused immense hardships to the people of Manipur. She said the blockade must be lifted to ensure people's participation in the assembly elections. The governor also appealed to the people to discontinue picketing of government offices in hill districts. Najma Habdullah expressed the hope that the UNC and their supporters will lift the blockade in the larger interests of the people. AMSU volunteers today burned the effigies of Chief Minister Okrami Bobi Singh, Chief, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and NSC and IM leader Nungai Len Moiva in various places in Imphal. Volunteers of AMSU Imphal East and women vendors of Lamlong Market and Pure Romba Market held protests demanding disclosures of the framework agreement signed between NSC and IM and Indian government. Similar protests were witnessed in Sawungbum, Singjamai and Kwakatil. Cookie NP has urged the Prime Minister Narendra Modi to disclose the details of the framework agreement during his visit to Manipur to campaign for the BJP in the upcoming election on February 25. Speaking to media at the office of the Cookie NP Manipur at Babupara, President Thangkosei Haukib said Manipur burned in 2001 and the centre is saying the framework agreement will not affect Manipur but why it is not disclosing it to the people. He asked why the centre is silent when the people are suffering due to the UNC's economic blockage. He urged the centre to resolve the issue and said people want to live in peace. Mayam cemman cemman mana ba? Mayam cingin mana ba? Nungsi nade ba si Central Government sana ba ni? Handa Prime Minister lak matam da? Ma clear kat standu, pungdo ay ba? 
President of NSUI Manipur P. Bankim Chandra said the people of Manipur need to be clarified about a statement made by Union Minister Rajnath Singh regarding the framework agreement. Speaking to with media at NSUI office at Manipur Congress Bhavan, he demanded the reason behind the non-disclosure of the framework agreement signed between Indian government and the NSCNIM to the people. He said hidden agenda between the government of India and NSCNIM cannot be ruled out. He appealed for disclosure of the framework agreement to the public when Prime Minister Narendra Modi visits Manipur on February 25. He also expressed gratitude to the Congress Party for the inclusion of education sector in its election manifesto. In his way, Manipur state na akoi board the Union Home Minister as well as Honorable Prime Minister da akoi na demand tau zari di framework agreement si ki manung da yaori ba hidden agenda si na akoi karigumba territorial integrity so all number tar ga di koi public na sida tolerate chungdo taw roi nsui manipur state na tolerate taw ba sungam ngam moi a koi lokhat pya ba step lokhat kani aduna masi yari ba makhai thu na mayam na khoirang khoi sau na ba helak dringai laibak mahi lang dringai sida i koi sarkar na center de lai biri ba sarkar na a koi yam official oi ba mu ong da yam ching lem na masi ba expose taw bi ro President of Gangle Park Students Association, Moirang Thim Lakshman, asked all the candidates contesting the assembly elections to announce that they will support the efforts to bring justice to the fake encounter cases in the state. Volunteers of KSA today protested demanding punishment of those involved in fake encounters case and repeal for AFSPA from the state. <laughs> ไม่ยกมารุมดาสิบาวดามีลิสิงอมะจังหวะคนนี้ปานกี้เคสอมะสุปรีมคอร์ตอาซิซิปันนุนไลรีเลงาอาซิกไมค์ไกติกินัตร
RN Ravi says framework agreement has nothing to do with the territorial integrity of Manipur. <laughs> One NSCNIM Khadar killed while two others, including a woman, injured in an encounter in Kaupum Tikpak. <laughs> Railways Minister alleges that Congress, UNC, and NSCNIM are behind the economy block. <laughs> Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi will campaign for the party on February 28th in Nepal. And Chief Minister Ukram Ibubi Singh accuses BJP of saying something and doing something else.